Hey everybody, I'm Tyler with eRigging.com and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to make a basic cable tensioning rigging assembly that can be used for a wide variety of applications. If you're hanging up string lights in your backyard or maybe you're even giving structural support to an object, this type of assembly is going to be a great all-arounder for the majority of your applications. But before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful rigging tutorials. So just as a disclaimer, the components that you see us using in today's video are for demonstration purposes only. So whenever you're planning out your own rigging system, you're going to want to make sure that you're selecting the correct components based on your application. So to start off, we are using 316 7x19 galvanized cable. Like I said, in your case, depending on the working load limits, you may need to upsize that cable. And then of course, the cable lengths that you're going to need are also going to vary depending on how far you're needing to stretch your cable from one point to the other. For our tensioner, we are using a 5 16 by four and a half inch galvanized jaw and jaw turnbuckle. You can easily open up each end of the turnbuckle and that makes connecting the turnbuckle to other rigging attachments and other objects really, really easy. For making the eyes in the end of our cable and to protect the cable, we have two 3 16 light duty zinc plated thimbles. And then to actually hold those cables together to form the eye in the end of the cable, we have got drop forge wire rope clips. Keep in mind, whenever it comes to wire rope clips, the number of wire rope clips that you're going to be using are all going to vary depending on the cable diameters that you're working with. So the eye bolts that we're using are going to be 5 16 by two and a quarter inch galvanized shoulder lag eye bolts. The reason that we're using lag eye bolts is because we're dealing with wood posts. You could use regular eye bolts and drill all the way through your posts and then secure the eye bolts on the back side with a galvanized washer and a nut, which would give you a little bit more secure of a connection. But galvanized lag eye bolts are a great option if you've got wood posts to deal with and that's gonna be what we're gonna use today. So electrical tape is something that you're gonna to use to seize up the ends of your cable once you cut the cable. Nobody likes to get stuck by cable, it's not very fun. So electrical tape is a great way to seize up the end of your cable. So enough talking about our materials, let's get into it. First, install your eye bolts. If you're not sure exactly which eye bolt you need, check out our video on how to select the right eye bolts. Once you've determined how much cable you're going to need, go ahead and fabricate the eyes at each end of the cable using your wire rope clips and thimbles. If you're not familiar with thimbles and wire rope clips, check out the links in the description below where you can learn all about them. Okay guys, so at this point, we have our eye bolts connected to each of our attachment points. One end of the turnbuckle is attached to our eye bolt and we've opened up our turnbuckle to its maximum amount of take up. So now all you're gonna do is grab your cable assembly, place the thimble into the jaw of the turnbuckle, and then attach that cable eye. Make sure that you get your retaining pin in there. And then what I like to do is take the ear side of your shackles, pass that through your thimble, and then place your shackle right over the ring of your eye bolt and attach in the shackle pin. Get that in there. And so at this point, your cable assembly is gonna pretty much just kind of be loosely suspended. The more sloppy that you are whenever you make this cable assembly, the more threads of that turnbuckle you're gonna be using to take up slack rather than putting direct tension on the cable itself. So the more accurate you can be whenever you're making this cable assembly, the more direct tension and usable threads that you're gonna have with your turnbuckle. So now all you need to do is secure one end of your turnbuckle, which is gonna be the end that is gonna be attached to your cable. The other end of your turnbuckle is already secured here at your eye bolt. And all you've gotta do is turn your turnbuckle body 
If you don't know this already, turnbuckle bodies are threaded left hand on one side, right hand on the other, which is gonna draw those two ends together. And that's gonna be what is actually gonna tension up your cable. And once you get everything tensioned the way you want it, you're done. If you found this video helpful, feel free to give it a like. And if you have any questions about this rigging assembly in particular, drop it in the comments below. I'm Tyler with you rigging. Thanks for watching.